the executive the total budget is is coming to 39 14.9 billion and out of that total gross expenditure the executive is going to receive 22 43.1 billion parliament is getting 43.6 billion and the judiciary is getting 23.7 billion out of the executive 2241 billion 15 18.7 billion is recurrent and 724.4 billion is development and the total county allocation is 391.1 billion an increase of 5.7 from the previous financial year 23-24 which was at 385 billion but you are also aware that the senators did not uh, agree with the national assembly on that increase they are proposing uh, uh, the, the, the amount allocation to county governments to be pushed up to 450 to 415 million uh, an additional 10 million 10 billion which the national assembly is not agreeing to and we have we are therefore moving into a mediation a mediation committee has been formed so we will also be looking into that to see how we can arrive at a compromise but we all agree that county governments need more money but we will be increasing that money progressively because we also need to be alive to the status of the economy. As the economy improves, we enhance the amount that goes to... We have Kakamega Navajolo Muscoma Road. It has an, a proposed allocation of 35 million uh, and 70,000. We also have the, the rehabilitation of the Kakamega Webuye Road, which has been allocated 85 million. We have uh, a number of other projects. And also, besides the shareable revenue, the 391 million that will become, billion that will become going to the counties to share, Kakamega County is getting a number of other additional allocations from national government. Among them is the County Aggregation and Industrial Park Program, which is being given 250 million. We have the road maintenance levy, which is 253,244, and many others. We are going to sit as a, co a committee and begin to look at these figures one by one, item by item, scrutinize and to assess whether there is need for us to review and enhance or reduce and allocate it to another more needy area. Like I just gave an example of the Ministry of Health. Ministry of Health requires more funding. We've seen doctors going on strike they need more funding to be able to, 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 to make the payments as per the way they have agreed with the agreement. We are, we are also seeing a lot of floods in the country. And you know that will be followed with a lot of uh, so many ailments and the ministry must be capacitated to deal with, to mitigate with all the challenges that are coming, the aftermath of the floods. So we will be reviewing these budgets and looking at the key priority areas and the needs of the sectors to see whether the proposals by national treasury are sufficient or insufficient or we need to look for money elsewhere so that we enhance certain areas based on priority.